Good morning everybody. Welcome to another episode. We are in Czech Republic at an area called Bohumin. We are almost closed close to the Czech Polish border. So let's find out where's going to be our next bunker. On the maps I saw there are some small bunkers. I meant mini bunkers. So we're going to find out. And then we're going to walk all the way down there on the other side. That's close to the border of Poland. And from there it says there's a one big bunker like the big one. So let's find out. And I see ahead of me after the bridge there's a mini bunker which is located right on next to the road. This is a bicycle path. The water is all dried up. Here as well on this side. Okay, let's find out. Here's the bunker right ahead of us. Overgrown plants, bushes and everything. But still there's a way around. But first, let's have a look around it. There's a tree grown on top. So these bunkers were built during the World War I and World War II. So they were built by Czechoslovakia during that time. This country was called Czechoslovakia until they got separated and now it's called Czech, Czechia, Czech Republic and the other one is Slovakia. So what happened? The Czech Republic, they built this to protect themselves from the Germans and then after, I believe the Germans, they got here, but they signed a treaty between Great Britain, France and Germany. It's called the Munich Treaty, which allowed them to take all of these bunkers without war. And then after the World War II, everything was occupied by the communism, communist, and then they took over all these bunkers and today the Ministry of Defense of Czech Republic I read somewhere that they don't have any funds to maintain these bunkers and that's the reason why they started to sell them off to private individuals or whoever wants to buy them and that's why some of the bunkers, the doors are been sealed off. Okay, let's find out what's in there. Big bushes. Okay, let's turn on the torch. Let's try not to come in contact with this plant. 
I read somewhere some it's the similar plant looks like this. It's I don't know it's bad for the skin or it's allergic to the skin. So let's try not to touch it. And let's go inside. My sound is echoing. The first bunker I came across the sound echoes. 836 here's the little guy the snail crawled all the way up there and lots of spider webs The rainwater is falling in through here. Yesterday it was raining, there was a thunderstorm in the evening. So I decided to go easy today, not to go in the forests because everything's going to be still wet. So we're going to go to the forest next week. Looks like a good clean bunker. This is how they have to maintain it. Like look at look at here, somebody painted, took care of it. It's really nice in here and it's big as well. It's not that like small, it's okay, it's okay bunker. And then let's get back to the story. Some of these bunkers, they were sold to private individuals so they can do what they want with the bunker. Like for example, if they want to make it as a museum, they can make it as a museum and show it to the foreigners. And whatever funds they earn, they can keep it for themselves. Okay, so let's move outside. It's very clean, look here. The walls are clean, everything is clean. Somebody is taking care of it very well. Thank you for this. Thank you for taking care of the history. Okay, so let's move on to the next bunker. This is the entrance from where we came in. There's still a number down here, 836, maybe that's the name of the bunker. Oh, that's how they recognize the bunker. 
because if I check on the map from Czech Republic, it says they have like more than 5,000 bunkers built across the border, which is a huge number. Some of them they already destroyed and some of them they are still up here like this one, which is very good. So people can have a look at the history. Here it is. Okay, so let's move on. Here I saw there's another trail which will lead us to another bunker. Let's see if this is really the trail or there is another one. Yeah, here there is one more which is this part. But I don't see it leads to any bunker. So let's try this one. Let's walk through the fields. The weather today, it's cloudy. very little sun because yesterday in the evening as I told you earlier there was a thunderstorm and everything is wet here so that's why I didn't go up in the forest so let's check what's ahead of us So here we are getting close to another bunker which is right there and I can see behind the bunker there is a horse base. We will find out, we will get close to it and let's check it out because this is located somewhere in the village. Before that there is a plantation right here. I don't know what kind of uh, plant is this. It looks like there are small beans inside. But, but they are very small right now. Look how small they are. And they are all over here. Okay, let's go ahead. The bunker is before the horse base, so we will not get inside the horse base because it's owned privately. And I can see there are many horses. The sun is trying to come out. The weather today here is 23 degrees Celsius. Okay, so here's the bunker. Let's investigate what lies ahead. 
Okay, let's go first to the bunker and let's check it out. This bunker is located somewhere in the middle of the field. Here, look, and that's the path we came in. Same like the other bunkers, the tree behind it. The tree came later, first the bunker. Okay, this is how it looks like from the sides, overgrown bushes because the winter season just finished so they haven't been maintained, the bushes I mean. And let's try to head inside. Let's see if we can get in because The branch is here. But I don't think we will be able to go inside because I can see it's flooded with water. Okay, but anyways, let's try. Let's try to sneak in. Let's see how far we can go. the water it's flooded let's step here and here also it's flooded with water That's because this bunker is located in the middle of the field and the field is like on top of the, the land, I mean like the, like the surface. So there is no exit route for the water. Okay. So this is how it looks like and that's from, that's where the water gets in, the rain water. And since yesterday I just told you it was thunder, lightning, it was a storm. And this is what it did right here. A flooded bunker. Okay, let's put the leg here. And this is how the entrance it looked like the branch is almost covering the entrance soon the branch will turn into a tree okay let's go let's go outside and explore more let's move on to the next bunker but before that let's find out Let's get close to the horses. Let's see if we can go close to them if somebody comes in to chase me away.
there's a hunting station or watch out station somebody stays on top to check if nobody enters the plantation Okay, we are getting close to the horse base and here next to the horse base there is a house maybe it's privately owned the horses they look very beautiful Yeah, there is one horse. Let's get close to it. Let's not disturb him. And here there are two more. But look, they put something around their eyes But they didn't cover their eyes Maybe it's protection against the flies Here, check this out Let me zoom in Here, they can still see it's like a netting And there are another two more right there. Oh look, this horse is getting close. Hello. Good morning. Okay, let's say bye to the horses and let's move on let's head on to the next adventure <laughs>